Hey everybody and welcome back to Wobbly Life! So today we're doing a standalone episode on how to unlock the sofa car. Now if you've watched the last few episodes, a lot of this will be familiar to you. But I am posting this video as if you haven't done anything yet. So if you've already been to the Sleep King's castle, you might want to jump ahead in the video. So the first thing we need to do is head up to the mountain village. And I always like to just uh, use the helicopter here at the police station to do that. And while I fly up there, let me take a moment to say thank you guys for watching. If you're enjoying Wobbly Life on the channel, please hit that like button to let us know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It doesn't cost you anything, it helps us to grow the channel, and you never miss an episode of Wobbly Life. All right, so here we are at the Mountain Village, and we are going into the furniture store because that is where the new Sleepy Sleep 3000 is located, and we will use that to transport ourselves to Dreamland. So we're going to jump over here, and we are going to get into the bed. If you haven't done this yet, there'll be a brief cutscene where you talk to the, uh, the guy who runs the store. So, after a normal night's dream, you will wake up in the Dreamland version of Grandma's house. The major difference being all the windows are closed, it's a party down here, and you run into this talking couch. Now, I can't replay all of the cutscenes that you'd get the first time you do this. But you're tasked with getting four ideas. So you'll have to come over here to this area of dreamland, and you're going to have to talk to four different wobblies with stars above their heads. We have this guy in the bathtub, who's thinking about rubber ducks. And after you talk to him, an idea and a light bulb will pop up. So we're gonna grab, uh, we're gonna grab this one and hope it doesn't fall off. All right, then we're gonna head over here to the airport and we're going to talk to this gentleman. And we have our second idea. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Uh, then we have two ideas. And since I only have two hands, we're going to take these back. Over the bridge. Over this bridge. to the wobbly over here who needs the ideas. Here you go, sir. And then we go back and we head over to the left to the dreamland version of Wobbly Burger. And we talk to the wobbly sitting in the booth. Hey, how you doing, sir? We talk to the wobbly sitting in the booth and we get our next idea. So we grab this and start heading back. And on the way, we're going to stop over here at the piano recital and talk to the wobbly at the piano, where we will get our fourth and final idea. Once we bring these two ideas back to the Wobbly, we will have a completed bridge that allows us to get across the gap. And I accidentally fall down. Okay. We will have a completed bridge that allows us to get across the gap here. From here, we're going to run straight ahead, past the Dreamland Disco, into the Dreamland Gold Cave, where we will get onto the Magic Carpet. This will automatically transport us up to the next level of Dreamland, where we have some more puzzles to solve. And up here, we have to match the um, missing items with the Wobblies who need them. So this Wobbly over here needs a golf club, but he has a dinosaur bone. So we're going to grab the dinosaur bone, and then we're going to come over here, and we're going to grab the roast... 
we go. We got the roast. We got the dinosaur bones. And then we're going to go across this bridge right over here to the right. And we are going to return these items. I always have trouble with the, the dinosaur bone for some reason. Uh, let's just do the, the meat first. The meat comes over here to the cavemen. There we go. And then we just run the dinosaur bone back over. Doop -doo -doo -doop -doo -doo. Here's your dinosaur bone. Get, do I have to? There we go. There's the dinosaur bone. Here is the golf club. And over by the caveman, we have a sloth. So we grab the sloth and the golf club. And we take this bridge over here that leads into the dreamland jungle. And we will give the sloth to this guy. And we will get the dream building behind him. Oh, I dropped my golf club. There we go. Now we'll take the building over here to the model of the city. And we will give the building to this gentleman. Where we will also grab our shovel. Uh, you can pick this up. There we go. Wait, come. Okay, we have a shovel. And the golf club. And we'll take this bridge on the right here, back to the golf course. And give this gentleman his golf club. And then we will come over here. And give the shovel to her. This will activate the portal that will take us up to the next level of Dreamland. Where we have to ride on some clouds. And if you haven't done this before, the clouds will disappear once you start standing on them. So you have to keep jumping from cloud to cloud. In a little pattern. They respawn as soon as they disappear. And you just keep doing this until you get across the gap. And end up over here at the next part of Dreamland. From here, you're gonna run over to the little wobbly in the shop and you're going to buy the King's Invitation. And it, it's a free purchase. So you get that, you take it up these stairs here and you have to give it to the King's Guard. These two fellas right here. And they will allow you to cross the bridge to the Dreamland Castle. So we'll go inside where we will have a little chat with our friend Couchy. And after a failed attempt to go up the stairs, you'll get this clock and you need to activate it with the key, run up the stairs to the first floor where you will have to solve the food challenge. This requires you putting the food here into the pot before time runs out. And if you've seen my, my previous videos on this, y you know this is one of my least favorite missions in Wobbly Life, simply because of the time constraints. And um, it can be very frustrating. Still, I, I've done it enough times now that uh, I can usually get through it pretty easily. But we don't want to talk about how many hours of doing it it's taken me to get to this point. All right. Once you put the food in, the key comes down, recharges the alarm clock, and we head upstairs to the next challenge in the banquet hall. And here we have to jump on the table, run across and jump onto this table, run over to the mantle, and we have to make our way up this path. Avoiding the bananas, which I did not do. But that's okay, because this is actually the most forgiving of the puzzles in the castle. All right, let's try this again. Up here, jump up here, jump over here, jump over here, jump jump onto the plate, jump onto the next one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's jump on. All right, slip on the banana over here. All right. 
Okay, jump over this, jump over this, and jump onto the last one. There we go. Oh, ow. That's not good. Oh, come on. No, I'm holding the floor. There we go. So now we run upstairs to my least favorite one. The tile puzzle. Now this requires us to get the five tiles scattered around the room and put them on the wall. The tiles tell the story of a princess who is kidnapped by a dragon and the knight who rescues her. So not only do you have to get all the tiles before time runs out, but you also have to put them on the wall here in the proper order. All right, jump over here, jump down. There we go, toss it over there, get the one off the bed. Toss it over there. All right, grab the clock and the... Come on, come on, the one where they get married. Get... Uh. Now, just a friendly reminder, failing any of these puzzles sends you all the way back to the ground floor and makes you redo every one of them. All right, so we have... Princess and the dragon, the knight riding to her rescue, the knight fighting the dragon, them riding off, and then them getting married. All right. Then we go up the stairs again. This time we're going to bypass this door and keep going. That door leads you to the Sleep King and ends the mission. But we want to keep going up this stairway because at the very top of the castle is an idea. The fifth idea. And we want to grab this idea. And we want to bring it all the way back downstairs to Couchy. You know, I don't know if his name is actually Couchy, but that's what I call him. Now, I've, I've talked to some people who have simply dropped the idea down, the gap in the middle. I haven't successfully done that yet, so do it at your own risk. But I am going to run it downstairs and actually hand it to Couchy. All right, we come down to the first floor and there's Couchy. There we go. What a great idea. I've always wanted to be a car. And now you have unlocked the sofa car. And now you can access it from any of the phone booths in Wobbly Life. Is it worth it? I don't know. That's totally up to you to decide. If you're a Wobbly Life completionist like me, you kind of have to do it. One nice thing is, um, unlike all the other cars in the game, it doesn't seem like the couch car takes damage. <laughs> And it, it's, it's a little hard to drive. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode of Wobbly Life. If you're enjoying Wobbly Life on the channel, please hit that like button to let us know. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It really helps us to grow the channel and you never miss an episode of Wobbly Life. We'll be back soon with more videos for you guys. Thanks for watching.